Right, we have now a system, a new brand new system to learn a desktop, a Windows Styling Manager. We have 10 desktops at the top here. We have here some information. The sound is here, sound off, sound on. You can scroll over it. So it changes the memory. You can't change the memory, would be nice. But you can scroll here and then you see this line and it changes as well, so that's nice. CPU, it's not gonna change. Uh, this one is going to change in formatting. This is the screen key, so Ctrl Alt T, the thing you see, the text you see, that's to teach you, to show you what I press. Pamek is running, Variety is running, and the Network Manager is running. So, great. How about BSPWM? Well, that's why this con key is here. It's not actually necessary or even required to have a con key, but starting fresh with this window styling manager might be interesting to know that they have super shift d super shift d is our d menu from i3 uh, it's there alt f2 alt f2 run firefox escape alt f3 we've put it in here i know it's not in its place it's for a real bsp wmr this is non normal this is an xfc app finder but for a starter on Linux, maybe it's good to remember, hey, what was the name again? And then you can look it up here and start like that. Okay, super enter, what's that? All right, that's this one. By the way, I've changed my bash RC. So if we go in here, control H, and we go to bash RC, I double click it and I've added NeoFetch to the end. That's why these guys are here. Now this one and that one can go now. All right, so that's an easy trick. Add bash RC, well, change bash RC. And there are two guys here, two. One that's coming from our update. If we update something, it's gonna be in the ETC scale. And there is gonna be always your backup. So if you screw it up here, ETC scale, there's always a backup coming from us. This is your reserve backup plan. So, okay, so you can compare always these two guys with each other. You know the drill, compare, melt, I love melt. So should you. Thing is, where is now BSP WM? Well, we've um, done this one. I'm gonna give you a tip. This one, don't delete this one. Put it somewhere safe. I'll put it in Arco. Linux D because I know it's from the GitHub article Linux D. I'm gonna put it in here and it's safe, it's there. And in a month's time, I'll say right mouse click and I'll ask a git pull. Meaning, hey, did they change something to the scripts? And it says already up to date, nothing to investigate, nothing to do. But it might be that we changed something, we improved something, made some more shortcuts of where we are frustrated by something. And we said, let's do this or let's do that. Let's make a theme, etc., etc., etc. Then it's gonna be downloaded with this git pull. Pull, sorry, git pull. Super shift Q. Bye. So we have now uh, information in here, and that's okay. Now, where is BSPWM? It is a tiling window manager. That's much is for, is for sure. When you open something, it tiles it automatically. There's a nice little board around it, okay. Super Shift Q, it's gone again. We have these desktops up here. i3, awesome, have them as well. So we can switch. Okay, now the information we're looking for is hidden, Control H. We need to put this dot .conf here because we're gonna need it all the time to check out other things, well, okay. We're also going to put PSPWM here because that's the main folder. Not only that one, there is a combination for our keyboard shortcuts. We need this one as well. Oh, let's put this here. So this is my .config and the two guys underneath there are part of .config. That's my idea in my head. Everything that's below the .config is in the .config. Okay. Let's have a look at BSPWM. We open it up with auto start here with Atom. 
that's probably the one you'll go first auto start means start me first now this function here is a function run and the function run is asked here and that's it so if we have dual screens then if I meaning if I install BSP WM on the on my machine here I'll untag this I'll, I'll delete this line I'll actually delete this line this is my hardware HDMI 2 not VGA 1 that's for uh, someone else okay so this information is important so let's um, check it out even more meaning that we have also let's go to another screen we have also the application so control T we have X render and X render gives us information about the names so if you want to change something then in these settings you have to know the name of your terminal and also the size of it so this is my standard size little asterisk here and I guess this is the Hertz so that's okay we not just need this one okay and then there's also another application called a render I am not sure if it runs okay it runs like this and if you have a dual screen you see it and it says well HDMI 1 and, and 2 and you can move them around you can actually move the other one next to the other one and like that and then you can save it you can apply it that's one thing but applying is is one thing saving is imp more important for next time so if you say save s it's going to be in a folder dot screen layout i'm gonna give it the name example eric it's saved and the technicality about it is then you can set it set everything right here technicality is then saved in your system where so screen 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 layouts example Eric and this is what you need to know this is your copy paste so this line needs to go control C into your auto start because look at it it's more or less the same you see so that's the first thing your screen must be in the right resolution etc etc but normally everything is fine as you see in this virtual box it didn't do anything it just works and then the next up next thing up is our, our polybar this is the use of polybar and you know you have to compile it yourself we can't put it on ISOs or anything you need to compile it so after the installation of Arch Linux D it has been compiled it's on there and we launch polybar so basically what I'm saying is that in the .config there is something else that we might need in the future if you want to change this thing yeah you need to have the polybar here and then you can delve in the .config now this is not going to be part of the tutorial why if we google article next let's kill Firefox again restart it so it knows we're bigger it doesn't want to tell it he's bigger you see there's this part it decides to be a smaller window let's try Vivaldi maybe it's a virtual box thing or a Firefox thing but um, I assure there's no problem on my SSD the thing is I wanted to say is Article Linux D um, Ping search we have, um, or was it, I guess it's, Polybar is actually not for any specific desktop environment, it's for every desktop environment, so it's actually going to be here, theming Polybar, there is so, so many articles about Polybar, and you think that's um, not much, Eric, but this one, for instance, all modules that are available for Polybar, I mean, it goes on and on and on, you see here, it's a lot of information that is written already about polybar so do check it out it's a lot of videos to check out fine so polybar is explained already and we can skip that part then we well me we, we not we but I need to tell the system that he needs to set my keyboard to layout Belgium 
So I'm gonna definitely save, but first I'm gonna control Z so I'm really sure and nothing has changed. So save, set my keyboard to Belgium, to Azerti. So when I type, it's really gonna be Azerti. So that's a good thing. And then V background scale the wall. So here it is. This is the chosen wallpaper for the first look on BSPWM. And what else? We are going to choose for a cursor. Whenever we move around, we need to tell him what cursor we want to see. And that's set in here. The keyboards need to be loaded. So we have this extra folder. We probably need it anyway. So add project folder. Remember this one? Okay, so this one, look at the name. This is the demon checking out all our keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl T. And I'm um, applet, so the network manager applet is loaded. Variety is started. Don't want variety, there are people who are really well, a fan of variety and there are people really against variety. It doesn't seem to be something neutral in the middle. But here it is, <coughs> you launch it or you don't launch it. Pamac tray is up here, same applies, hashtag it out if you don't want it. Oh, I see we can improve our scripts. So it's launched twice, there you go, and you'll get an update. You do a git pull and you get this nice new auto start, simple as that. So XFC power manager for, uh, well, power, to manage the power sleep and then all that. We want your numlock num lock on, depends on what system you are. If you have a laptop, maybe you don't want that. So you just hashtag it out or say numlock off. The conkey is there to help you. So this thing is there to help you. At some point in time, you say, okay, I know it now. I can get rid of it. So hashtag it out. This is for the shadows and the transparency. Okay. If you, we have, we have a toggle as well and a shortcut to toggle it on and on, depending what you're doing. You might say, now for this thing, coming hour, I want it toggled off. And this was the other day a question uh, from Archway users. I was installing Arch Linux the Archway. So I don't get a pop up when I install stuff. So this is the poll kit. You need to Arch Wiki poll kit. And then you'll see that this pop up when we install software, you ask the root password, that's this. And then this is just to say, hey, I changed my song, for instance, in Spotify. It notifies you of a change. And then if you say variety, no, 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 I want nitrogen, there it is, here is nitrogen. Can we just launch nitrogen? Super shift D, that's the thing, how to launch things. And let's take something apply and then close it again. Super shift Q. And there we are. We have now nitrogen. We get rid of variety with a hashtag and we hashtag this one in like so. And that's it. And next time we'll have the same wallpaper and the next day the same wallpaper and the next day the same wallpaper and so on. Caffeine is there to keep you awake. It's a little application that uh, Make sure that your computer doesn't go to sleep. Dropbox, if you want it. Blueberry, if you need it. Thunar, if you want to boot up with Thunar straight away. So we have already a file manager. And InSync is for Google Drive, which is uh, not free, which I use. And it's in there. I just can activate it and I have it. So that is for uh, auto start. And uh, I guess we covered that all and maybe it's best I split the videos into the files. All right.